This video is about the law of equipartition of energy. Now take a look at this word equipartition that means equal parts of energy. Now this law is really simple and with this simple law we can derive a really important physical quantity that is the specific heat that is the amount of energy required to raise a unit temperature of a unit mass. So with this simple concept without any physical experiment without anything we can determine specific heat of physical things. So this is a really important law. So this law states that for a system in thermal equilibrium the energy associated with each degree of freedom is half kBT per particle. Now here is a concept of degrees of freedom and we have studied that. So if you haven't watched that video, watch that video from the card up here or link in the description or go to the video from the channel page. So now to summarize this in a formula, the total energy of a gas is equal to the degrees of freedom for one molecule multiply by the total number of molecules multiply by half kbt which will give us the total energy now this law of equipartition of energy can be derived from statistical mechanics but it is really complicated so here is a really simple derivation this derivation is not very rigorous but you can do this derivation if you don't remember anything else in exams so so this is that derivation in the kinetic theory of gases by applying the kinetic theory we get the total energy of an ideal gas equal to 3 by 2 kbt now in ideal gas there is no potential energy because there is no interaction between the molecules so there is only kinetic energy that is equal to half mv square now if we take its expectation value which is similar to average value and we split it into three component that is vx vy vz which will be equal to 3 by 2 kbt now we say that equal prior probability suggests that energy corresponding to each direction now if each coordinate is equally probable then energy correspond to each coordinate will be half kbt because half kbt plus half kbt plus half kbt is equal to 3 by 2 kbt and also remember kbt in here is the Boltzmann constant. Now from this we can conclude that energy correspond to each degree of freedom is half kbt. So this is its simple derivation. Now if we substitute n equal to na that is one mole of a gas then we will get Na into kV that means 1 mole of gas into Boltzmann constant is equal to the gas constant R. So this formula becomes 1 by 2 F into R into T. So now let's find the interesting things which are the specific heat of gases. Now for a monoatomic gas the degrees of freedom are 3 because x, y and z axis or 3 degrees of freedom. So we will chunk 3 in here and into kV is R and now Cv is equal to du divided by dt and dt in here is temperature so its derivative dt by dt will be equal to 1 so we get 3 by 2 r and we also know that cp minus cv equal to r so cp will be cv plus r and we just chunk it in here we will get 5 by 2 r now if we divide cp by cv we will get 1.67 which is the adiabatic constant so we can get this much information from this simple concept now for a diatomic gas, we know that the degrees of freedom are 5 because it's a dumbbell shaped gas and we have seen that 3 into 2 minus 1 is equal to 5. So 5 degrees of freedom. Now just chunk that in here, we will get 5 by 2 RT, derivative it with respect to T and we will get 5 by 2 R. From that we can get Cp which is 7 by 2 R and from that we can get gamma which is 1.40. So for a monoatomic and diatomic gas, we got Cv, Cp and also gamma. Now, sometimes what happens if the temperature is really high, this 5 degrees of freedom becomes 7 degrees of freedom because the vibrational modes 
also comes into picture. So if there are 7 degrees of freedom, then what will be CP upon CP? Find that and write it in the comments down below because if you understood this topic really well, then you can find it really easily. And if you have any query related to this, ask it in the comment down below. So thanks for watching this video and always remember that math is everything.